this is the first time I've ever made a table of this kind, and I learned a lot of things to do and things not to do when I make these. I'm going to have to address the situation with the snipe on my planer because it did leave marks on the bottom shelf down here. Not necessarily, luckily, it didn't do anything on the tabletop, which is the part that most people will be seeing. <clears throat> I think the uh, dowel joinery in the in the shelf portion worked out really well, and I just couldn't really c figure out a way that since the the legs have to attach to the bottom shelf diagonally, if I had mortise and tenon for the aprons, they have to go in perpendicular to each other. I didn't know if that was going to work out well, so I really enjoyed making this project. I got to learn a bunch of new techniques. I got to solve a lot of problems that I made for myself when I designed it, but I ended up, uh, think, I think I came up with some good solutions for those problems, specifically how to attach the legs to the bottom shelf with the dowels. Um, the finish turned out really well. I used some new products. I used that low VOC Minwax stain, and then I used that oil-modified water-based polyurethane and it looks like it's a beautiful finish and it seems to be pretty durable because I've kind of knocked this around already just putting it together and everything. It's the first time I used clips to attach a tabletop to a table and I'm going to see how well that works out. This table is actually going to my mother's house. Um, she asked me to build it for her to support her television and so I will get to see how changes in humidity and how time will affect this tabletop but I think the way I attached it is the right way to do it in order to make it be able to adapt to different changes uh, in humidity and the way that the wood moves. I really hope you like this video and I hope that you're interested in projects like this because I do large projects like this pretty regularly. It just takes me a longer time to get the videos out. If there's enough interest, um, I will make a set of plans available for this design. Um, and uh, just go ahead and make your request in the comments below. My name is Tom. This is Red Barn Woodworking. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.